to my channel or if you're new around here please make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me but I'm guessing if you've clicked on this video you're interested in handbags and wanting to be nosy at what bags that I've um, purchased and treated myself to this is one of my first kind of higher end um, bag purchases so it's very exciting for me and I'm just in love with her I've already named her do you name your handbags if you've got ones that are a little bit more expensive I have mainly treated myself to this bag because it's been a tough year and I feel like I kind of need something to say well done to myself I got a job during um, the global pandemic and it's coming up to a year since I started in that job and I just wanted something to kind of commemorate um, getting the job and surviving probably one of the toughest years that we've all had and I've had this bag on my list for quite a while. I ordered this bag on Farfetch, it was my first time ordering it and I have to say I had really good experience apart from the shipping. It did say it was going to take two to four business days and it ended up taking just over a week for it to come. I suppose that's not too bad but seeing as things are coming back to normal it was a bit longer than I thought. So that's the only thing that I kind of was the negative side of it. It came super well packaged. It was absolutely brand new. It came with I would say probably a bit too much packaging but I'm really happy with how it came. It came in a really lovely box with tissue paper, everything that you would want when buying a designer bag, especially when it's your first designer bag, you kind of want it to be a bit special. It came with a dust bag as well, which is kind of a sign that you've spent a little bit more on a bag when it comes with a dust bag. It was £295, I believe. The black one that I got was uh, had £100 off compared to the other ones I'm not sure why because I would say that a black bag is quite a staple so it would probably be quite a core kind of item within a lot of people's wardrobes and would get a lot of wear so I'm not sure why it was so much cheaper but I'm very thankful and so is my bank account and I also had a 10% discount off from someone that I speak to on Instagram and I just use their discount code as well so all together with shipping I got um, paid £270 which I know is quite a lot for a bag but they are more at the affordable end I've never bought from coach before so this is my first coach bag as well which is exciting and I probably will be buying more in the future because I'm really happy with the first bag that I've got from them it's really good quality and I can just see it being in my wardrobe for years to come. So without further ado, I shall show you my baby. And what I'm going to do in this video is kind of do a first impressions of the bag. I've had it for a few days. I've used it going out for um, two times now just to like the supermarket and going to get a coffee. But I'm also going to show you what's in my bag because that's a video that I have loved watching so many years on YouTube and I've always wanted to kind of do it myself so I thought it would be quite interesting to see how much you can fit into this size of bag as well and I know when I was thinking about ordering it it was really important to find out what I could actually fit into it because it is going to be kind of my everyday bag and I don't want an impractical bag that I can't fit everything that I would want in so yeah let's get into showing you my beautiful new bag so this is my bag like I said I it's not going to be an unboxing as such because I have obviously been using it and I just couldn't wait to unbox it but I thought I would kind of talk you through my first initial impressions of it and kind of what drew me to um, invest in this bag as my kind of first designer piece and also showing you what is inside it. So this is the Black Coach Tabby 26 and it is 100% real leather. get a top um, handle 
so the straps are completely um, detachable and then you also get a longer crossbody one which is what I will be using the bag for mostly because I do like a crossbody um, bag as I find it more, it's more practical day to day and this is also an adjustable strap as well so it's kind of like a belt buckle kind of um, style but the only thing I will say is the kind of clasps that you attach onto the bag do feel kind of like they're not going to be as sturdy and I have had a situation already that this kind of has come off slightly but it's not a massive biggie I can always tighten it somehow but I do like the option of kind of having it to wear like that which will be a bit more kind of appropriate if you're going to want to use it as an evening bag and then having the crossbody strap as kind of more of an everyday bag so I believe it's quite versatile when it comes to kind of what you want to use it for but it is a really decent size it is perfect for like I said what I want to use it for and you can fit so much in it so it has kind of brass kind of brush gold hardware on it and you get a kind of a cute little tag that says coach on it which I thought was a really nice touch I will be adding close-ups to the bag just so you can see a little bit more in detail about it but it is a really nice looking bag I believe it's quite a sophisticated and kind of timeless style bag that's kind of what drew me to it these have been quite popular in instagram in the last year and they have brought out the pillow versions which i'm absolutely in love with but i just knew i wouldn't have got as much wear out of that style as it i did with kind of the less pillow version i just loved the kind of brushed leather effect of this bag and I like I said it's such a timeless kind of style and I can see a lot of the people that have invested in this bag having it in their collection for such a long time this is like a real start and journey for me in kind of collecting designer bags I do obviously want to own a few more and I believe this is such a great starter bag for a lot of people to have in their collection and kind of start them off on like owning designer bags i believe they're a real investment when it comes to buying certain things like that and it's something that's going to go with so much of my wardrobe so yeah that is kind of the overall um start look of the outside of the bag you have got obviously the really eye catch and see at the front which kind of has hidden the clasp a little bit and then you've also got a pocket at the back that i can't really fit much in i'll probably just keep receipts in that or something as i can't really fit my phone in it i've got the 11 pro max iphone so it's not really going to fit too much it's not going to fit in there very comfortably and I don't really want to stretch the leather too much and then when you open it up you've also got a pocket here that I have been keeping my masks in but yeah on first impressions of me using this for a few days it is a really comfy bag to wear the strap is a really decent thickness so it doesn't feel like it's going to really come off your shoulder or anything yeah that's my first initial impression of it. I will be sure to update you in a vlog or something in a few months to come to see how, to show you how I'm getting on with it and stuff. But I absolutely love it and I just can't believe I own it. I really want it in a different colour but I've put myself on the spender ban as I brought this bag and also a Kate Spade one that you would have seen in my Brain Tree, um, Brain Tree Village video i will say as well i'm not used to it obviously doing designer handbag unboxing so if i've missed any of the details i'll try and put it um in the description below i will link this in the description below from the place that i did buy it like i said i got it from farfetched and if i can find any discount codes that are still working i'll link them down below as well if you're interested there are a few different one um colors in this so if black isn't really your vibe there is a few gorgeous colours there's a cream which I really love the look of and I've got my eye on probably for my next purchase but yeah if I've missed any details if you want to give me a comment below I'm happy to answer any of them 
let's get into the inside of my bag so as you can see there are about five different compartments to this bag so it is a really um spacious kind of bag to fit a lot in like i said um earlier there's a kind of smaller pouch at the front that i have just got my one of my disposable masks in so you can't really fit too much in there when you've got a lot in the main compartments but it's such a handy kind of place to have your mask and kind of receipts and stuff just handy so you can just literally flip it open and have it handy and then I also said that there was a pouch at the back that I will probably use for masks and receipts as well and then when you get into the actual inside of the bag you have three compartments one has a zip in the middle so that's where I've been keeping my phone as I find it's the um, safest place to put my phone and it also fits the best in there as well so I've also got my iPhone earphone connector because I didn't really have anywhere else to put that and I've then just got some hair bands so I haven't really fit much in the middle bit but like I said my phone would normally go in there and then you would just zip it up and I just love even the zip has like the little coach logo on it which I just think is a really nice touch and I love the kind of burgundy suede um, interior of this I really like it when bags have a darker interior because I just never understand when they have a lighter interior just in case you do spill something I just think it's a lot more sensible to have a darker interior so in the first kind of front section I have my hand sanitizer which is a Bath and Body Works gingham um, antibacterial hand gel I am slowly working through all of my hand gels from Bath and Body Works and I'm going to be so sad once I've used them all but this honestly smells amazing and I'm so sad I didn't get any more of that scent I've got some tissues so these are some <laughs> um elf ones from christmas i'm just using the ones up that i have i have a hairbrush that it kind of comes out and has a little mirror on it so that's quite good i don't need as big of a hairbrush now i've got shorter hair and then i've also got some chewing gum this is the best chewing gum it's the extra wrigley's cool breeze absolutely love this taste of that and then i've just got my earphones because i my beloved airpods have finally reached the time of death but yeah that is the front pocket kind of empty as you can see i managed to fit quite a bit in there and it's just kind of like everyday essentials that you need to take with you so chewing gum tissues and stuff so the next pouch i will go back into is the back pouch and as you can see there is quite a bit stuffed in here so i've got my card holder which is my cake spade one which i absolutely love i'm just going to cover my bank cards up there and i just absolutely love this this was a purchase that i got from braintree and i just prefer using a card holder rather than kind of a big massive purse i do have a person here but i don't really use it as much as i do with my card holder or i just use apple pay on my phone and then the next item is my drop dead purse kind of a bit of a um parallel to my bag but i absolutely love this it is the perfect size i've just got my kind of loyalty cards and a few bits of change in there i've got my vaccination card in here as well and yeah that's all that's really in my purse i quite i like having quite small things when it comes to like money and things on my bag so i've got another mask i always like wearing um keeping two masks in my bag just in case i get one dirty or i forget one it's always good to have this one it's this is from skinny dip it was quite cheap but it's just a tiger print one and i like how um comfortable it is and you can kind of adjust how tight the straps are did you ever think that that would be an essential in our bags and this time like two years ago we wouldn't have ever thought about having 
moth in our handbags but that's just the way of life i've got my keys which have more key rings and keys on them i've got a pen i'm always the prepared one that has everything i always have tissues i always have plasters and hand sanitizer i'm just that type of person that has a mary poppins bag so this bag is perfect for me i've got my perfume which is a lancome idel one which is in like these little travel size um perfume bottles which are really handy sephora are a great place to buy these but i also got this in the little gift set so i'm quite happy to have that also having a little spritz of perfume just so i can refresh myself so that is the main bit at the back done and then i've just got a little kind of pocket that i think a lot of people would use for like their cards and stuff but i have filled it to the brim with plasters because you never know when you need a plaster so i'm paracetamol and a ladies um tampon so <laughs> that is everything that's in my bag and then you can kind of see how empty it is but yes that is everything in my coach tabby 26 black bag and i hope you enjoyed this video and see um, my newest addition to my life thank you so much for watching i hope i will see you next video and until then i shall see you later bye